So today I'm going to show you my five minute very healthy lunch recipe that will not overwhelm you and requires no recipe. My name is Karen Broda. I'm a personal trainer and fitness mindset coach for women with ADHD or who are just scatterbrained, multi-passionate, struggle with focus and struggle with nailing down that fitness, nutrition and wellness piece where you're like, I want this dream body. I've been wanting it forever. Why can't I get it? I'm giving up hope. And you're starting to just get in your own way or you have been getting in your own way. That is what I focus on. It's getting, helping you get out of your way so you can get the dream body, the dream fit, sexy, confident body and the healthy mindset to match. So we are doing my go-to lunch recipe. And when I say go-to, like literally go-to because I've been eating it, God, every day for the last like maybe six weeks because I haven't really had a kitchen. I've been building my tiny home, which we're in right now. And if you notice, I have beautiful plywood counters. I do not have a stove. I have one hot plate and I have a toaster oven that keeps blowing the breaker because I don't have much for electrical at the moment. So this has been my go-to lunch recipe. It literally takes me five minutes to put together. Also not joking on that because when I was building my home, it was like, go, go, go. Long days of like, just get, just make food, get food in me. And I'm going to share it with you. No recipe, no overwhelm. Super simple. Now, before we dive into it, before I tell you what it is, I want you to check out, and I'll link it below, the video I did about a week ago talking about simple recipes that don't overwhelm, that you won't lose focus on, that follow my blueprint. So I want you to check that out because I'll talk a little bit about it, but this, that will give you more background of what my blueprint is. I've been following my super simple healthy blueprint for like 10 years and it literally has saved me so many time so much time on making meals so what we're doing today we're making a salad yes very exciting i thought you'll probably think it's gonna be more exciting but trust me salads are great because what i want you to consider is that a salad isn't always just leafy greens although that is what we're doing today i classify a salad as anything that's in one bowl together and not cooked and can be made in like five minutes. So my blueprint, I'll just kind of give you the rundown of that. What my blueprint is to keep meals really simple so you're not food prepping for like three hours on a Sunday and you're always eating healthy and you're, it's it felt really simple to eat healthy. Does that make sense? I'm just rambling off now. Anyways, what this looks like is you eat the same one to two meals every single day. So every morning I always have the same breakfast and every lunch I usually have the same lunch or maybe for the whole week I'll have the same lunch. And then for your other meals, so one to two meals for the rest of them, you follow the same format. Meaning every lunch I'm gonna have a salad and every supper I'm gonna have like a stir fry, the same format. Then you just swap out your ingredients and the ingredients also follow, follow the blueprint. So, when you're creating a meal, you're gonna have a carb, a protein, and fat. That means if you're like, I don't know what to have for dinner, I have to find recipes, or you have something in the fridge, you're like, I don't know what this goes with, all you have to think of is like, do I have a carb, a protein, and a fat? And I go into more of this in another video, but if you had like chicken in the fridge, you're thinking, I need to find a chicken recipe, no. All you need to do is be like chicken, it's a protein. Okay, I see a carb. Well, let's use some sort of grain for my carbs and maybe some spinach. That's also a carb, it's a veggie. And then you're like, okay, now all you need is a fat source. Great, like I have some oil, we'll cook in some oil and maybe put some goat cheese on top. Done. Super simple, so you're just thinking of those three ingredients or three things to put together to make a healthy balanced meal every single time. That is what we're doing today. So. My salad, again, it's really anything I have in a bowl. Um, today, we I do have spinach in the fridge, so that's gonna be the base of the salad. Sometimes I use actually frozen green beans because they're delicious, they're convenient, and what I'll do, I'll just throw them in the bowl and then the next day they're thawed and, and I'm good to go, and again, I am not a chef, so if you're a chef, you're probably like rolling and cringing, you're rolling your eyes and cringing. I apologize. Okay, 
So this is the salad I'm making for tomorrow. So put some spinach in here. And then for veggies, I just looked in my fridge just now and I'm like, what do I got? So I found uh, one and a half peppers left. Whoa, dropping peppers. So I'm gonna put, uh, put half a pepper in and cut that up in a bit. I have a cucumber I just bought, so that will be perfect. Throw that in there. And I found a uh, quarter bag of some snap peas that are probably gonna go bad soon. So I'll probably just honestly throw them in there. Maybe, maybe break them up if I want bite-sized pieces. And we're just gonna call it a day. And this is how I make my food. And uh, so we'll just throw these in here. Looks super great. Now for my protein, I'm a, this, again, this would have been eating in the past six weeks, um, maybe not the best for my health at the moment, but again, we don't have much of a kitchen, is canned tuna. It's flavored. This one's lemon dill. I just picked it up from the store. self open, so super convenient. So I'm going to throw that in tomorrow just because I don't like my tuna like being opened for a day. I feel like it's a weird taste. And I want a little bit extra. Sorry, that was my protein. Protein. My veggies, these are all going to be my carbs. And then when I'm doing my carbs, I always like to have some sort of grain because that's really like my main carb source. I just checked the fridge. I don't have any rice or anything or quinoa to put in. I have some tortillas, but I'm like, hmm, don't really want a tortilla with my salad. But I have some bread in the freezer. So I'm actually going to tomorrow toast up a piece of bread and have it alongside my salad. Or I may even toast it and then crumple it up into croutons, right? Getting creative. We're, we have ADHD. We are so creative. Again, imagination galore. We're always, always dreaming up new things. So with the protein, I have my tuna, but I wanted a little bit more protein. So I um, picked up some cottage cheese the other day. And I like kind of something creamy in my salad. So I'm going to put some cottage cheese in there tomorrow as well. And then for my fat, I found I had about a semi-brown avocado. So we're going to put some avocado in for my fat source. Uh, I think the tuna has a little bit of fat in it as well with some oil. And then I wanted, I love my crunch. So we're going to put in some almonds that I have. So we're going to crunch up some almonds tomorrow and throw those in as well. And that's going to be my lunch tomorrow. I'm going to pause the video, chop up my salad, and show you how it looks. <laughs> salad here if you can see so uh tomorrow because i don't want my almonds to go like soft and soggy i'm gonna throw those in i'm gonna add the cottage cheese tomorrow and the tuna and then for seasonings what i have here is the lemon pepper tuna or lemon dill i believe i'm gonna add a lemon herb seasoning to add a little bit more a little more uh, zest to it and I love salt so I'll probably add some sea salt to it and you guys I was literally like five minutes if that and I have a salad oh and I'm gonna toast my piece of bread with it as well so that is literally how I do my meals and what you can do if you have a salad every lunch it doesn't have to look like this you can swap out your protein I actually had some tofu marinating in the fridge you can put some tofu on you have a chicken breast you can throw that on you can do different seasonings. You can do like a quinoa. You can do your green beans and carrots and tomatoes. You can swap out everything to make it really easy. And just go with what you have in the fridge. Just get your carb, your protein, and fat in there. You're good to go. I'll also add, I am not a chef. I am not a cook. I just like healthy food. I like fueling my body and feeling nourished. So really, I just take my healthy food. I mix it together with all my favorite ingredients. And I've never gone wrong yet yet. Thanks guys and make sure you like and subscribe. This tells YouTube and the algorithms that you like what you're watching but most importantly it helps my content get out to more women who need this who are really struggling with their nutrition, their fitness and just need to get on the right track or need that boost or just don't even know where to start. And also my fitness identity course is open for application 
this month. If you're watching this in July, it is in July. So click the link below to apply because this program is so transformational. After the 12 weeks, you will fully become and embody that fit, healthy gal you've been dreaming of. So it will just be a natural part of who you are, a natural part of your day, just eating healthy, working out, that's just gonna feel easy, it's who you are, versus something you have to remember or something on your to-do list which will never get done, it's just who you are. And most importantly, you're gonna have the healthy mindset to match because you can have both. You can have the healthy, happy mindset and the dream body. Trust me, you can have both. If I can do it, you can do it. And I'm gonna show you how in this course. It's so transformational, so impactful. So click below for the details and to apply and book your call. Okay, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.